Hello, good day, welcome. This is an updated video of my how to stress your new laptop guide. Uh, the old one used a stressful situation that no longer actually properly stresses modern systems. So here's the updated version. Uh, to do this, you will need a few programs. The links to download all of them will be in the description below the video, so do not worry. And let's begin. So the first thing we'll need is Hardware Info 64. When you launch this, you want to click Sensors Only and Start. Yeah, you don't need to download this. So this one's on my second monitor. So here we are. And what you're going to do is you're going to configure the sensors. And you can come here to the polling period. This will be set to 2000. You change this to 500 and then you hit the set button. If you don't hit set and you just hit OK, it won't actually apply. Right? So you have this up. We launch either 64 Extreme. And you go to Tools and System Stability Test over here. And you're going to tick Stress CPU and Stress FPU. And the next thing is you're going to open the Unreal Superposition benchmark. And you're going to click Game Mode and Preset Change to Custom. Changes to Borderless Window with a resolution at least 1440p matching your monitor. Shaders quality to extreme and textures quality to high. So what you're going to do is you're going to, unfortunately, superposition needs to be up in the foreground. So you're going to run this first. Wait for it to load up. Right. And then you're going to Alt Tab to either 64. You're going to hit Start Stress. And then you're going to go to Hardware Info. And you're going to hit this clock to reset the min, max, and average values. And then you're going to click back on Superposition. And you're just going to leave Superposition up for. A few minutes maybe after about five ten minutes just time on your phone or something like that when you finish you stop you press escape hit the quit button up here you hit stop on the stress test and then now you can check your uh, your clock speeds you'll have your maximum and your average your voltages, your temperatures, and you go down and you check your GPU all the way down here. Your temperatures, your average, etc. See how much power you were using, all that stuff. And hopefully, your temperatures will be perfectly fine. Unfortunately, because I cannot leave superposition to just loop in the background, this is really the only way to do it. This is why you need to do the test on your phone. Uh, not the test, the uh, timer on your phone. And then you have to come and see, well, what was your load? What was your temperature? What was all that stuff? But all the information will be here. And generally, you want to make sure that your system isn't overheating. Uh, you'll have to you'll have to look up what the thermal limits for your CPU and GPU are. But in general, you don't want to be hitting ninety degrees on your GPU, and you don't want to be hitting a nine a hundred degrees on your CPU. Okay. And with that, I hope everybody has a good time. I will see you all in the future. Have a nice one. Goodbye.